Hey folks, you like to talk about energy? I notice a lot of people talk about energy when they're describing people uh, in particular. But if I describe to you what we now know about the universe, we can come to a definition of what energy really is. As it turns out, this universe is made up only of energy. We live in an energetic universe. You and I and everything else, by the way, this is Lake Fawa, outside Pokhara in Nepal, just in case you're curious. But all of this, anything that's ever been, even thoughts and concepts, are energy. They're expressing through energy. Now, what is energy? Uh, it is the smallest package known to us at this point are down at the uh, down at the uh, sorry the quantum scale and at the Planck scale within the quantum realm is Planck spherical units or Planck oscillators these are the building blocks of the entire universe Planck units are the building blocks of the entire universe and once you know that and once they they are now proving that out. They're doing, it's theoretical, it's experimental. They're developing products now based on this new science, which is um, a more accurate, perhaps, description and observation of the entire universe. Now let me go on about the energy. These little units are jammed together everywhere. And you know, it's something we call space-time, as we call we call the vacuum, the plasma, the matrix. Call it what you like, whatever whatever suits you. But in fact, for 93 billion light years end to end, this universe, that's all there is, is energy jammed together, roiling, very dynamic, very violent going on. But you and I can't see it because all of the vectors going out are equaled with all the vectors coming in. It cancels itself out for us, physical beings, here on the physical plane. This is how our physical plane is made up, actually. It's made up of energy, and all of us are expressing through that energy. Everything is expressing through the same one space-time throughout the universe at every scale down at the quantum realm at the normal realm let's call it the Newtonian realm here uh, and up at the cosmological realm it's all expressing through energy and do you see creativity at every realm well you certainly do the more and more we look at those natural beings objects what have you in all scales, we see amazing intelligence and creativity. Have you looked at the Crab Nebula lately? Every time I see that, it looks completely different and completely amazing, for example. So, this is the basics of the unified science. This is what we're also going to talk about and learn and discuss. Yet energy is in a is an infinitely fascinating topic to me and I believe to many of you as well and it does fit in with even the farming the, the most banal uh, things that we do in life it is pertinent and it uh, it, it does add in and there are uh, there are examples we can extract from the energetic picture to apply to everything we do so what you learned in school by the way and I don't want to be giving you a science lesson here, but this is just, uh, this is basic to our understanding of who we are, what we are. And I think we should go to this biggest picture and learn all of these things before we go on and get into the nitpicky little details of how to farm, how to live, how to do this, how to do that. It's all based on the universal picture, right? So this is, the, I'm giving you the basic bedrock basic foundation of all life, of all existence here. And it is so simple. And like Albert Einstein said, 
everything should be as simple as possible, but not simpler. And Nassim Haramein, the discoverer, the main discoverer of this unified uh, science, unified physics, um, has accomplished a great deal of things that the science world has been scratching their heads over over the past hundred years or so. Uh, they have something that we learned in school, it's called dark matter. And that means everything we don't know about, we sweep it under the rug and that rug is called dark matter. Well, he's taken that all out because that is, um, what that really is, is science, classical sciences, failure to finally get the energy picture sorted out. So they just shove it all in there. And now, most of you, many of you, they're gonna say, oh, bullshit, da 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 da, because you're married to the past. You're married to what you learned in school, and you don't wanna hear about these changes. But the more and more that we hear about it, um, the more and more we find out that this is a fabulous and extremely simple universe. Once you know what the building blocks do, you get the entire picture. It's just very easy. Just add up your Planck units, express them, and you've got matter. Now, let me give you one example of these Planck units. They don't, they don't go anywhere. They're just right here, all around us, through us. 10 to the 60th power of these Planck units makes one proton. That gives you an idea of the scale of what we're talking about here. And then protons, for the most part, make up the entire universe. Okay, there are 10 to the 80th power of proton, protons in the entire universe, making up everything we know and everything we observe. Okay, and those are all made up of Planck energy units. So to me, this is fabulously um, a fascinating topic but we don't have to spend too much time on it. I wanted to give you some of the basics now to get that out of the way for you so that you don't think, okay, we're gonna be learning science. You know how many people want to learn science once they're past school? Exactly this many. You know how many people, and I've told hundreds, maybe thousands uh, people about the unified science, and there is a free course that you can take ResonanceScience.org, they even have one version in Espanol or Castellano uh, that you can take for free, absolutely free. Learn all about this, learn all about the science you learned going into the Unified Science. You know how many people I've told about this? So many. And how many have actually dialed into this website and have even looked into taking this course? I am quite sure it's that same zero number. So, you know, we, we are not enthusiastic about this until we start talking about energy. Now, all of a sudden, it gets our attention, right? And that's what's, uh, to me, uh, it, it fleshes out my picture of this universe and why I talk about universe, universe all the time. Because what we now know is that it's a very simple universe, very organized, easy to figure out at the basic level. And it is a benevolent universe. It's just the way it's designed, the way it's planned out, the blueprint. And I keep being brought, it basically saying all is one because there's only one thing in the universe, space-time, the vacuum, what you wanna call it. We're all just expressing through that one thing in the universe. We are all one. You've heard this before? We're all one? But now science is saying this. Science is coming together with spirituality. This is perhaps the most exciting thing of all. We're fixing some of the, the errors in our judgments that we've been carrying along like, like oxen or it's like, like Sisyphus carrying the world on his back, suffering our bad luggage. But it comes out to where it's all love, it's all energy, it's all benign, it's all benevolent. And it's all exciting to me. So that gives you a little, a little primer course on it. And 
I, I'm not sure what you're into, but I hope that uh, this this can help in terms of just an understanding of the universe a little bit, and maybe just some things for you to think about if you haven't heard this ever before. So I'll get out of here right now and look for the next lecture.